Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do an update on my personal reading challenge. Um, I have five books that I'm planning on reading. I'm actually in the living room, so that's why the scenery back here looks different and the lighting is really horrible because of this. But um, I finished the Urban Pay, uh, Primitive book. There's also a lot of noise because I live in an apartment complex and trucks happen. Um, yeah, so I finished Urban Primitive and probably next Wednesday I'm going to do a, a full review on that. It was okay. I don't think it's something that I would recommend for a lot of, of people, but it, it's, it's decent. Um, I haven't started, uh, the Alice Walker book yet, um, Color Purple. I keep putting it off because it is a difficult read for me because of the format it's in. Um, I haven't gotten much farther on Revolution from Within. Um, it's a good book. It's, so far, it's really written for men and women. Uh, Gloria Steinem is a feminist author, um, but I would recommend this for anyone, whether they identify as a feminist or not. It's, I think this might be a book that gets more people to understand the feminist movement. And as for A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, I'm about, about a third of the way done, if you can see that. That's my my bookmark. So, yeah. Just about a third of the way done. It's a weird book. Um, and not that it's, like, not in that it's supernatural or anything. It just, it doesn't have a traditional plot. Like, there's very few outside conflicts, um, and it's very much about the Nolan family. Um, it's mostly seen through the eyes of Francie. What are, yeah, Francie. And, um, but it does talk about her parents and how her parents met. And it, it's not one of those books that, like, I could tell you what happens in a scene or in a chapter. But it's not like that chapter has to do with the overall plot of the book. I really do like this book. Um, I know there was a movie made of it quite a few years ago. Um, I don't exactly remember how long ago it was, but I was probably probably 11 or 12 when I first found out that it was a book, so obviously it's older than that. Um... But yeah, it's a really good book. The writing style, it's not it's not particularly difficult. So being a it's a four hundred and ninety-three page book, but it doesn't read like a four hundred and ninety-three page book. Like it's not it's beautifully written. It has a lot to say, but it doesn't say it with very difficult language. Like, it's not, it's not a hard read. Um, I don't know what the, what the age is supposed to be on this. I don't know the reading level on it. Um, so I'm assuming it's a high school type book. Um, I feel like this is something I would read in middle school, high school. I was an advanced reader too, so I'm not the best I'm not the best judge of that at all. Um, I do like this version. I do think this is a school version because it has um, author biography and all kinds of other stuff in it. So like this reading discussions, which is really fun. Um, and a lot of the books I read in high school had that at the end as well, which again leads me to believe that this was a book that was 
printed specifically for for school school age students. Um, I recommend it if if big books intimidate you. This might be a way to get into bigger books without having something like Stephen King's It, which you really have to pay attention to the plot and really deep read. This is an easy, quick read. Like, the chapters are really short, which is probably why there's like 40 some odd chapters. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm going to tell you how many chapters there are. Sorry, this is not not exciting watching me try to figure out chapters. Yeah, there are 56 chapters, so 50 some odd chapters. But, um, my little... I'm getting distracted by the tassels, so I can only assume you guys are as well. But, yeah, it, it's a good book. I recommend it. Um, I'll probably do a full review on this when I finish probably closer to the end of the month. Um, same thing with um, Revolution From Within. I'll definitely be doing a full review on this. Um, like I said, each month I want to try to read five books. Um, a pagan book, if I can find one. A nonfiction, whether that be biography, autobiography, memoir. This is labeled under self-help. Um, maybe some kind of history narrative, a, a fiction book, and then I really want to focus on authors that I haven't read before, authors that I would skip over, um, trying to read more female authors, more, um, non-white authors, um, Anything like that. Anything that kind of gets me out of my comfort zone of reading. Because my comfort zone really is like, you know, Stephen King or Laura K. Hamilton. Or um, authors like that. Kind of the horror sci-fi genre. So that's all I have for you today. And I will be back some other time. Uh, if you have any book recommendations um, that meet the kind of criteria that I was talking about, um, memoirs, you know, women, people of color, you know, anyone, non-white authors, people of color authors, um, leave them down in the description below. I tend to not read YA, but if you have really good YA, uh, you can leave that in the description as well. Um, like I said, I'm trying to break out of my comfort zone, so I will see you next time, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!